Bonjour, je suis Claude Pacchirotti, chargé de recherche CNRS à l'ERISA, sous tutelle du CNRS et de l'Université de Rennes 1, au sein de l'équipe Rainbow commune à Iria. So here in Rennes, we work towards the development of innovative haptic interfaces, as well as we study how to best provide haptic sensations to human users with the objective to improve the way we interact and communicate with robotic systems and virtual environments, such as the metaverse. We develop advanced haptic systems such as haptic gloves and haptic rings, able to convey the sensations of touching virtual objects that do not exist in the real world, as well as extend our sense of touch towards environments that are too far or too dangerous to operate in, such as during space exploration or medical surgery. I started working in the field of haptics uh, quite some time ago, since my very first year of study at the University of Siena. Uh, most of my day is composed of meeting and interacting with colleagues and students to talk about our common research work. I have a role of advisor to my students. They show me their experimental setup, their systems, we try them together, and then we see what is working, what is not working, and we decide how to proceed towards the next step and then we present our findings in research papers, which is a way to communicate to the scientific community. Working at Irisa and at CNRS is great because we have access to a lot of different setups, robotic systems, and great people to interact with, which makes our research and our life much, much easier. So the multidisciplinarity of haptics also brings many challenges because of course it is important to be knowledgeable of all these different domains from micro robotics to mobile robotics, from surgery to micro robotics, from virtual reality to industrial training. So uh, we need to study the sense of touch, how to devise haptic interfaces, how to control them, how to apply in many different domains. So, and this of course pushes us also to interact and to collaborate with other experts in all these different spheres. Uh, it is always hard to uh, predict the future, but of course we know that the touch is an essential tool. I do believe that in the next uh, five to 10 years, we'll see more and more haptic interfaces uh, permeating all our life to ameliorate the way we interact and communicate with and through digital and remote content such as through the internet or in the metaverse.